<laughs> hey guys, we hope everyone has had a great year. We're looking to end it on a great note with Student Council too. Our last event is Hiller Fest on Friday, June 7th from 2 to 5. There's going to be a lot of food, including a free ice cream truck and Mr. Prescott on the grill. There will be tons of games to play, including spike ball, volleyball, and football. All your favorite clubs will be there with tables and music. It will be right behind the cafeteria. Make sure you come. Yeah! Good morning, Hopkins High School, and welcome to the last HHS Day of the Year. I'm James Muzzy. And I'm Blake Briner, and thank you for watching our show over this semester. For this episode, let's begin with an end-of-the-year question of the day where we ask you your plans for the summer. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of HHS Today. Oh, hey guys, what are you talking about? Just talking about our summer plans. That brings us to the question of the day. What are your guys' plans for this summer? Go to the beach. I am doing a lot of college prep. Hi, I'm taking a road trip to the University of Michigan to drop off and pick up my son, and we're going to find fun things to do along the way. Get money. I'm going to Colorado. And I'm working at Chipotle. <laughs> and I'm going to eat Chipotle. I'm going to Japan this June. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be there for 12 days. And I'm going to Tokyo, Hiroshima, Kyoto. And I'm just learning, planning on learning a lot. Summer internship, studying, and watching movies. Spend time with my family, of course. My daughter's home from her freshman year at uh, University of Miami, so we'll have some good uh, home time and barbecue, cookout, stuff like that. James, what are you doing over the summer? Uh, I'll be sitting on my couch just drinking some apple juice, enjoying the nice weather. Sounds fun, James, but I'm a true mood guy myself. Also, you should come play lawn darts with me sometime. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's pretty weird. Oh, okay. Oliver Reed visited HHS recently from his school in Rhode Island, and while he was here, he was interviewed by our TV class. I teach in a town called Johnston, Rhode Island. It's about an hour away from where we are now. I teach a class called Music and Video Arts, and we were working on a project. We were trying to do some interviews, and uh, they said, hey, what if we made like a new show? And I said, all right, let's give it a try. And I know someone who works at this school, and I talked to him about it. Uh, Mr. Willander, and he mentioned to me uh, that you had this show. And so I watched a few episodes, I showed it to my class, they got really excited. And so we decided to try to see if we can do one ourselves. More experience doing hands-on type of work where they get to be creative, work in teams, uh, and really sharing a lot of what goes on our school, which I see here, I feel like I know your school a little bit just from watching several episodes of your show. Seeing the end result come together visually. The students are really excited um, when they finish a project. They get really excited about it. So I think as a teacher, that's my favorite part of it. We haven't done anything like this before. And as a teacher, it's, it's like I'm going back to college and studying something new and then finding a way to make it work with the students. You know, they're going to have a voice in this too. You know, how they react to the projects or the assignments, I'm sure they'll have suggestions. It's all going to make a difference. So. I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited by that. Now we have a segment with our very own cafeteria workers. Hey guys, welcome back to a new segment called Take a Break with the Lunch Ladies. Today we're giving the lunch ladies a break by helping to serve lunch and clean up after. I'm with Heather, one of the cafeteria ladies, and we are asking, are you ready for your break? Oh, yes I am. That was the best break ever. And you guys did amazing. <laughs> now that makes me hungry. Me too. That's why we made a segment on sausage versus bacon. And today, we're here to answer the age-old question. What's the best breakfast you can get at a Hopkinton High School? So in the cafeteria, we know that there are many different combinations you can receive. There's sausage or bacon, apple juice, orange juice, 
croissant, or bagel, pancake waffle. We have determined over months of extreme testing that the best combination you can get is sausage, croissant, and apple juice. The day we filmed this, they only had pancake and waffle. So the reason sausage is the best is it has that rich, delicious flavor, while bacon is the same. It does not provide the same amount of stability as the sausage. If you're trying to sneak this in your coat inside to a class, the bacon will fall apart. Sausage, however, is extremely stable and will stay on like this for hours. The apple juice trumps the orange juice because there's no weird pulp stuff floating around in it. The apple juice is amazing. And the croissant trumps the pancake because pancake is very flimsy. The croissant stays together and has that supreme taste you can't beat with just a whole wheat pancake. We've gone in depth for you, Hopkinton High School. We've spent hundreds of dollars. Now let's test it. Wow, the amount of passion in that one really hit me hard. Yeah, I've gotten very talented at eating sandwiches this year. It's real talent, like, come on. There's a great segment about diversity club. Hi everyone, I'm Shazane Khan. Uh, as you might know, I play the sitar outside the atrium and downstairs in the cafeteria during diversity month in April. Uh, the sitar is this medieval Indian instrument that has important cultural significance. I really hope with this that um, people are comfortable enough to share their own diverse talents and feel free to show them to this vast student body that we have here. And I look forward to working with Diversity Club in the future uh, in playing sitar again. Hello, my name is Tiffany Ramson and I'm part of Diversity Club. This year we have a, had a great year with the Diversity Forum with our Hillers International Mornings every Hiller Day. So this past month we have had Several people participate in Diversity Month. You may have seen our table outside the cafeteria. I participated in doing origami and sharing snacks along with having Emma McNamara sharing her stories about autism. Even though this year was awesome, we know for sure that we'll make next year even better. Please stay tuned to all of our updates on Diversity Club. We hope to expand on having better Hillers International mornings, more consistent meetings, a website, and hopefully a monthly newsletter. So be prepared for all that is coming next year. Hi, my name is Brooke Best, and I've been a part of that diversity club for this year. I'm a freshman here at HHS, and I really loved coming to this club every week. It's just like, it's a great way to kind of represent our students in a very diverse way, because here at Hoffington High School, we do have quite the diverse student body, and it's just a great way to not only learn about other cultures, but to celebrate your own. And especially for next year, make sure to like leave some time in your schedule for this club because I think it's really worth it and Tiffany's really hardworking. To wrap up the show, we have a special goodbye segment created by Caroline. Bye HHS TV. Bye HHS. Bye HHS. Bye HHS, have a good summer. Bye HHS, see you next year. Adios, hasta la vista, hasta luego. Perfect, it's really good. Bye. 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 Bye-bye. Oh. Bye. Bye, Bye. HHS. Hags. Bye. Bye. Bye, HHS. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Bye, HHS. Bye, HHS. See you next year. That's Bye, everyone. See you next year. Wait, that was... Thank you for supporting us. Bye, HHS. Bye. Hey, we'll be back. We'll be back. Bye, guys. See you next year. Hey, what a great way to end the year and the episode. Make sure to look us up on social media and go to our website at hhs.today to see previous episodes and online-only content. We thank you for watching us here at HHS Today, and we will see you next year. Have a great summer, everyone. Bye. Bye. Okay, perfect. Now, just stay right there. Wow! Hey, that's way too loud. Okay. That's why you need a much more quiet when he does that. <laughs> that's yours. Wow. Uh, close, close the door. Hey, what a great way to end the year and the segment. Really? <laughs>